everyone. How are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to restore the classic Alt and Tab dialog window on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you'll come back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And then if you ever need to import that backup back in, just select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin and we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Double click on the software folder now. Locate Microsoft and double click on it. Locate the Windows folder, double click on that one as well. Should be a current version folder, double click on it. And now locate the Explorer folder, just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. So now directing our attention over to the right side, you want to right click in a blank area. Select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. Now, this is very important. You want to type in exactly how you see it on my screen. So, again, it's Alt, A-L-T, Tab, Settings. First letter of each word should be capitalized, and then hit Enter. Once you have it in here, double-click on it. Set the value data to the number 1, a numerical value of 1, and then select OK. And now at this point, you want to go ahead and restart your computer once you close out of the registry editor. And there you go, guys. Now if you tap the Alt and the Tab key on your keyboard, you should have the classic menu up here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.